Well, she might have to nope, but There she is. Hi. Hi. Now I got you. And we got you. We, see, we only see your mouth. <laughs> and your necklace. I love your necklace. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday. Uh, started the day off by having a little FaceTime call with your grandma. You got a yeah, chance to wish. Birthday. Got a chance to wish her happy birthday. She's ninety-three. Wow. Right. Yeah. She's still doing great, which is which is nice. Uh, now we're going to be riding out and doing some a few different random things today. I think we're going to try and go to Adelaide. <laughs> we have Where a guest. <laughs> I wonder if it's Mark. We've never been to Adelaide on the vlog before, right? No, we haven't. That was before. Yeah. We, me, and me and Mal went once, and it was while we were dating. The first spring I came here. Yeah. First spring break. We went to Charleston, and we stopped there on the way. And the the story behind Adelaide is it's the people who do Brook Green. The people who run Brook Green. It was their. It's in their family. Well, okay. So Brook Green was created by Anne Huntington. Mm-hmm. And she was a sculptor, and they built Adelaide as their house, and she had a sculptor, a sculpture workspace, mm -hmm. like an indoor and an outdoor one. And then they owned where the gardens are, and then she put her sculptures there. And all, most of the sculptures are hers, I think, the big ones. Yeah, so we've, we've been and to Brick Green multiple times. And then it got times. gifted into a... She she's passed. This was like pre World War One. Yeah, it's and been so a while. now it's Huntington State Park, named after them, and then Brook Green Gardens, which is was also their property. Yeah, and Adelaide is just the name of the castle, the, the castle mansion. mansion house. It's like a Spanish. Yeah, it's definitely port, Spanish kind of, influences. Yeah. It's neat, um, but we haven't been there in like many many years, so we're gonna maybe try and do that today, assuming they're open. We haven't checked. Oh, I should probably check. We'll just drive that direction and find out. So we came back to the marsh walk because we realized we were right next to it and I was hungry. So I decided we were getting lunch here. And the goats are back. We were here with Paul in like March and the goats weren't there yet. But like as of a week ago, they put the goats back. It's always on the news like, oh, the goats are back on Goat Island. And I've never seen them until today. And that's all I know about it. There's goats on the island. That's a big sandwich. That yeah, looks good. Though. Flounder. That's a good looking sandwich. And you also have flounder? Yeah, Mel and her dad both got the... Yeah, I like, I like the look of that sandwich. I ended up getting sandwiches. It's a little weird for lunch, but it's good. And yours looks good, too. Yeah, it's a queso, jalapeno, tomato dip. Oh, really good. When it first came out, my my brain said it was soup, I know, and I was like, too. what kind of soup is that? I would eat it as soup, I think. <laughs> it is a pretty kitty. Collar. <laughs> That's good. Are we going to Huntington now? Yep. Okay. It is a beautiful day. It's a good day for this. So I'm not sure how good of a job we did at explaining it before. Um, Huntington State Park is located across the street from uh, Brook Green Gardens. Brook Green Gardens is a place we've been to many times before in the vlog. It's where I proposed to Mao, and then also we've been there for the Night of a Thousand Candles a few different times over the years. Huntington State Park is a big state park. There's plenty to do. So if you come to Myrtle Beach and you like state parks, you do have an option while you're here. Adelaide is just one of the places inside of it. It's $8 to get in to the state park and then an additional $2 if you want to tour Adelaide. It's a bit of a windy day. So I think what I might do is I might just like shoot inside here and then do a voiceover after. I kind of wish I would have brought the FX3. I didn't want to haul it around today because we have some other things we're doing, but now I kind of regret it. That's all right. iPhone to the rescue. Okay, so first things first. It's Adelaide, not Adelaide. Oops, I've called it the wrong thing my whole life. Adelaide actually makes a lot of sense because it's a Spanish word for watchtower, since there's a watchtower in the center of the courtyard. Adelaide was the winter home for the Huntingtons. Anna, the sculptor and husband Archer, a philanthropist and poet. A little more about them. Archer was born in New York City in 1870 to a very wealthy family. His stepfather was Collis Potter Huntington, who incorporated Newport News, Virginia, and developed the shipbuilding and dry dock company there. Collis was also one of the big four responsible for the first transcontinental railroad. Archer's mom was Arabella Huntington, who adored the arts and culture and passed on those interests to her son. She was also the wealthiest woman in the country at one point. So yeah, that whole family was loaded. 
Archer was one of the world's leading experts on Spanish poetry, but also loved nonprofits and used his wealth to donate land, money, and collections to establish museums. He had a hand in all of these places. Anna was born in Cambridge in 1876. Her father was a zoologist and paleontologist and also helped found the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. During the early 1920s, Archer and Anna, who was already a world-renowned sculptor, worked together on exhibitions for the National Sculpture Society. They decided to get married on March 10, 1923, which was also their shared birthday. Unfortunately, Anna developed tuberculosis shortly after, so they sought a warmer climate for the winter. In 1930, they purchased what is today known as Huntington State Park and Brook Green Gardens. In a short time, their home, Adelia, was built. There are a ton of rooms here. Studios, kennels, stables, and animal pens, since Anna used live animals, including bears, for modeling studies, and also a library for Archer's poetry. However, you won't find any rooms dedicated to social functions, so no ballrooms, no billiards, no formal dining rooms, etc. And that's because Adelia was an escape from the social demands that they dealt with back in New York. Did you see it all? We gotta walk around the courtyard, but... Oh, okay. Then what? Then go out that way? We gotta go out that way, but then we can go around the outside that oh, way. okay. It's neat to be back here. We haven't been here in it's such a long time. Ten plus years? Yeah. It's cool. They a even few do, things uh, have changed. Yeah? Mm-hmm. They even do tours and stuff. Yeah. They also have an audio tour if their tour guide's not going. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a cool place to visit. Here's the watchtower. So back through those trees is uh, Adelaia, or Adelia. I learned it's Adelia. I've been calling it the wrong thing for a decade. Anyway, Adelia. And um, there's a little alcove that you can walk down to the beach from. And uh, I remember very vividly whenever uh, Mal and I first came here, you know, 11, 12 years ago, whenever, Longer? Oh god, 13 years? Anyway, a long time ago. Um, you know, we actually we explored the the property and then we came through that really picturesque walkway and walked down to the beach and just got a chance to see it. It was a cool uh, a cool moment because one of the things that you often see whenever like I'm shooting footage of a beach uh, here in Myrtle Beach is you see a lot of buildings. There's a lot of properties, and there are none. And it's kind of weird, honestly. Like, you can, you, it's not until, like, way, way, way down there that you can start to see some more, like, high rises and stuff. There's none of that, like, right here. So it's, it's a very odd spot. But it's really cool. It's also still really windy. And I did not bring sandals. How you doing? Good, I got warm, so I took off my hoodie. I was surprised you left your hoodie on as long as you did, to be honest. I, yeah. I got rid of mine pretty early on. Oh, this is cute. I'm just curious. Basically the same. Spinach, tomato, yeah. green Spinach, pepper. Spinach, peppers, tomato, ricotta cheese, mozzarella. It's really good. I guess it's salads, but those look good too. I've never gotten a salad. Here. Really good. I see no one else did the ranch swirl. I guess it doesn't go so well with the with the vegetables. I usually do pesto. When I get a pizza, I get the pesto. Oh, uh, do you all see our new art? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Is that your new painting? <laughs> <laughs> that was a birthday gift. 
Yeah, Mal, I didn't know if you wanted to talk about that for a second. Uh, my endo friends, Caitlin and Diana, sent that as a birthday gift. Yeah. I hadn't shown it on camera yet. I hadn't shown it on camera yet, but we just, we just opened that today, and it's really, really great, and I love it. So thank you both, because it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh, how are you? Oh. I'm cheating. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is one way to make a friend. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll like you a lot if you're the one giving him the churu. Now let's ring the ring. That losing them will be. Oh. 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 Champion of large and in charge. Oh my God. <laughs> Joe's a heartbreaker. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. What is he doing anyway? Hooper deserves to win. I don't know. It's a small one. Looks like something from a horse. Hooper's <laughs> back. Another day done, and uh, it was a good day. We it was it was a pretty full day because we got up pretty early and had you know quite a few things on our agenda. But it was fun. It was fun to uh, to visit Huntington again, and um, to be honest, I'd love to go back at some point to spend like a whole day there because there's all sorts of trails and stuff there that you can just, you know, walk or bike or whatever. And, um, that would be fun. I've, I've seen very little of the entire state park for now. I'm going to get some sleep, uh, breakfast stream in the morning and then, uh, more activities tomorrow. I'm tired. <laughs> Me too. You're tired. Yeah. I need to get some rest. Okay, thanks for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? <laughs>